Oh yeah, that's what it was. And I kind of want a hat like that so I can see the face mask. <sighs> I just need to find one that's good for me. And which way did I come from? This way? Get under that sky while you still can. Oh, whoa, what are you? Uh, all right. A grizzly mump. A int. It's a giant. It's a big old int. That's what it is. I'm afraid that if he hits me, he might, like, one-shot me. <laughs> so I'm trying really hard not to get too close. Oh, Mump was actually on our list of things to do in this place. So, does he drop something? Duck Helmet, legendary! <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Uh, we'd have to figure out where to get that 21% critical chance, though. Yeah, I'm kind of... Kind of lost, man, because... Hold on a second. Let's... Let's go back first. There was ways we didn't look for. We'll, we'll come back to this area. You're almost done with the community center. It's close. We have to hit floor 100 on the mines. You got 10 hearts on your friendship with Abigail. It's going really well. Nice! Shipping it without uh, Abigail, then. Oh, I just realized this place has 10 superb loot. Oh, Lord. I'm going to get lost here. Oh, maybe we shouldn't have came back this way yet. Oh, that's a cool katana handle. Ah, uh, dude, whatever. We'll just go to the end of this and then turn back around and come this back back this other way. <laughs> level 29. We are leveling so fast today, and I am loving it. More now damage. Better.
your ranged weapons are reloaded instantly and your next magazine is granted plus 20% damage. Oh, that's for the perfect reload. That's for the right bumper. Uh, increase melee damage, yes. You love her aesthetics. Hey, man. If, 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 if she's the one, there's lots of options in that game. Oh, you know what? We never learned any of these. With our next upgrade, we need to learn Deadly Al. Which is BXR. Yeah, that's that's the next one we need to learn with the next skill point. You son of a flip flopping jerk. <laughs> Dude, those uh those spray moves do so much damage. I'm not even sure if my armor does anything against them. Hello, Chewy the Chosen. How are you today? <laughs> Wadney, that's how that game feels. It definitely feels like a spreadsheet game. But there might already be one out there. Unless you just want to make the spreadsheet, because making some spreadsheets are fun. Learning the game like that. Okay, I leveled again. I'll I'll be picking up the same thing. I'm gonna kill this guy first though. There we go. Beginning your brain. What's the best class in the game? Oh, I have no idea. I play Psy Freak. I do perfectly fine. I have seen that a lot of people said that your class, uh, all classes can do perfectly fine, is what I've noticed so far. I mean, I like Cypherique because um, since I'm going, you know, psionics and, and it, it allows me to heal off of those abilities. So that's why I like it. But there's nothing limiting you from using any ability, any like actual skill, I think, in the game. A casket is a backpack. Ooh, but it has a better loot chance. Well, that's the only skill that matters. I mean, yeah, we're equipping that. The only stat that really matters. And by the way, y'all, that's, that's just my opinion. <laughs> Extra loot is always better. Loot, loot, loot. Did I turn around? Which way did I actually come in? Probably a lot of things buried out here. Oh. Okay, so this was another entrance. Yeah, uh, really as far as the classes go, it just really depends on if you're wanting to... Uh, and I'm doing great, Chewy the Chosen, by the way. There's so many... I, I saw two names with the same color and I got confused for a second. Uh, but Asian Potato Chips. Um, it just... The, the class... 
it just really depends on what you want to do. Some classes can dual wield. So if you're looking to dual wield, then that may your, may be your thing, you know? Uh, just really depends on how you want to play. But all classes are going to be able to womp the game. I hear that Deadeye does a tremendous amount of damage. I can't confirm. I haven't played it myself. I think that it has some extra, like, crit, uh, like, passives. I forgot about that class, uh, but I myself have not tried it yet. Okay, where am I? <laughs> I think I came in this direction. Yeah, I did. Okay, so we need to go back down here. This is where we beat the big bad boss. Let's see what else we can find. A relic shoulder. Hey, dude, that thing is amazing. Ooh, level 30 is going to be good for us. Yes. What's this? Kane Bodabog. That is a really good raw damage bonk. That's pretty nice. I mean, it's not as nice as the one we already have equipped, but if I didn't have that one, this one would be really good. And it really depends. Uh, you could modify this one and make it a lot better, actually. It is an ultimate. Wait. No, actually, that one wasn't an ultimate. The knight's your chance to be sneaky. The best kind. Wait, that wasn't that one wasn't an ultimate, right? It was just a decent weapon. Yeah, that's a uh that's a legendary, but it was it was listed as like an ultimate weapon, melee weapon. Uh, let's actually see what it can craft into. I bet its damage can actually get pretty high. You're onto something. Yeah, actually, compared to a lot of my other stuff. When did I get me a gong ball? That thing is strong. Bruh. Okay, so the takeaway is it does a lot of physical damage and it doesn't require any specific stats. Unless I've already got the stats that's necessary. I don't know if it'll list it if if I do. But uh, it's, it's the strongest weapon I've seen that didn't require me to have a certain stat. Well, I can't say that. It could require 50 agility because the weapon that required 50 agility now says that it doesn't require it. I wish that they would keep that on there. Because I don't want to lie to you guys uh, and say that it doesn't require it, and it does. It might. Repause it after being hit by an enemy attack. I'd much, I, is that misspelled? Anyways, the next hit inflicted with this weapon does double damage. That can be good. I mean, if you're taking hits.
I'm wearing the same one, but mine has like one more defense. Wait a second. Okay, there it is. A woe hop. It says that it has arcing four. Succeeding a perfect reload increases the rate of fire for the next magazine by 25%. This effect is reset when the magazine is emptied. That could be good. Or a rifle. Don't see that in the shops. I found all but the money ATM or the uh, leaf ATM, which might be outside. Uh, Chewy the Chosen, it's actually really good. I enjoy this game. Like, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it starts slow. But the more that I played it, the more I enjoyed it. Because, like, at first, little things bugged me, but, you know, they're working on fixes for those little things. But now that I've played more, it, they really don't bother me that much. Uh, so I'm having... Man, I'm having a lot of fun. And soil above you. Like, you know, I'm definitely going to get over 60 hours of gameplay out of this. I think that was it. Did it give it to me? Nope. Oh, look at this. For some reason, now they attack me. Maybe these guys only attack at night. They're nice plant creatures during the day, but then they're evil at night. Yeah, Chewy the Chosen, it's a... Dude, it's got a beautiful world. If you love exploring, you love loot, you love being able to modify your weapons... Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. Ooh, they take extra damage from fire, man. They take so much damage. Dang, get wrecked. <laughs> Elemental weaknesses are a thing. One of them took like 1900 damage from one of those shots. Okay, please tell me that I can use it here. Why, bruh? Okay, so this is deep water. It won't let me use my goop glide. Yeah, uh... This is... Okay, so the thing with... The thing that I've noticed with most open world games is eventually you can like just break the game. Like, you know, given enough levels and enough loot, uh, I put it on hard and yes, they're pretty tanky, but most of the stuff you guys have been seeing me fight have been above my level. So it's not like, and depending on your build, because my build is more of a, it does a decent enough amount of damage, but I'm not, but I'm not by far doing as much damage as I probably could be. Like, with my ability, sure. But, uh, I think that there's other classes where if you can focus on, like, gun damage or weapon damage, you know, the weapons that you can modify, I bet you can nuke things down in, like, no time at all. The only reason this stuff's dying relatively slow is because it's on the hardest difficulty. Like, this guy's 33. I'm, I think, I'm 29. So you'll see about how much I'm doing with my abilities. He's four levels higher than me, and he's an elite. So, I mean, it's not too terribly bad. Super effective. Isotope. Don't let the dangers 
And I don't even have, like, the best gear I could be wearing. In one level, I'll have much better gear. Wait, is there... Usually, if there's a shop, there's some kind of way, waypoint. Is there not a waypoint this time? Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> I need a waypoint. Peddler is eager for... Okay. I don't know what to do with all this. I probably shouldn't do anything with him. He's only got consumable. I don't need any of that, actually. Okay, maybe if I follow along the road... <laughs> maybe if I follow along the road, I'll find a fast travel point. Although I'm curious on what's down there. History is nothing but a series of stories. Oh, Chew, you have almost 400 in Valhalla. <laughs> well, I know that, I know for a fact I'm going to get over 60 hours, and this is what I was saying. You know, I have a... I kind of have a general rule for myself. If I'm going to spend 60 bucks on a game, I at least want 60 hours out of it, if I can. You know, if it, if I, if it doesn't give me 60 hours, it better be really worth it. You know what I mean? And so that's why I say that. If I mention something about at least getting 60 out of it, that's per my dollar rule for myself. I finally found a freaking waypoint. Things in this forest are just not strong against my shotgun. <laughs> That's what I'm noticing. Uh, I think this is going to give me... Wait, have I been here before? Shut up. No, oh, no, no, I haven't. Okay. I was about to be really confused. Oh, wait, this is a dark one? There's dark shrines too? Oh, no, that was a side point. Eh? Did that take my... Hold on a second. It... Oh yeah, I got another dark out of that. Oh, one more. One more, y'all. And we get that skill. Ooh, I need it. So what's going on here? It's gone from being late to being early. <laughs> Why won't you let me call it, dude? I need more I need more areas to let me use my Google Glide. Stuff you need.
Um... Will this take down my darkness? We're about to find out. Okay, it raises my light. Does it take down my darkness? No. So we'll eventually get all of our side powers unlocked. I really, I kind of want to get Freeze because it's cool looking and it looks, you know, well, it's cool looking. Um, and freezing things, CC is king, but Sky Spark is coming first. And Chewy, yeah, having having times on your hand, uh, or time on your hand, games is the is one of the best ways to fill it. <laughs> Got to keep your mind busy, or you go crazy. You know, here soon we're gonna have to go get all the clan weapons. I probably should have done that already, but uh, getting sidetracked is way too easy in these games. Wow, dude, they take so much damage. I just need a whole bunch of those little guys to kill. See that rubber strap? <laughs> the level. Just a whole bunch of them. What a find. Don't let your mount ignore you. Oh, I don't need this. <laughs> He's he sure is fun to ride though. You know what? I forgot that there's like fishing. I'm pretty sure there's fishing in this game. Maybe. I thought that a character had mentioned it. We'll find out if there's actually gill catching equipment in there. <laughs> like, we'll find out real fast. Why is... I feel like my shotgun all of a sudden hit a point to where it's just doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Like, did I hit a threshold somewhere where my damage is allowed to do, like, what it says it's doing? Like, was I held back? There might have been a damage threshold at, like, 28. That was holding me back from doing as much damage. Because I mentioned that before. My shotgun says that it does like 900 damage or something. Silly. And uh, all I was seeing was like 300 damage before. But now, dude, they're taking a tremendous amount of damage. Like, a tremendous amount. 
R really, Edisaurus? I okay. Then I'm. Th it's probably a thing. They probably want to keep you from getting too strong too fast. Is is what I would guess. Uh. But man, my shotguns feel starting to feel pretty broken. Out of nowhere, out of nowhere. I, I, I mean, it was doing okay damage before, but it's doing a bunch of damage now. Wait, what is that over there? And why didn't I see that before? Right. Light is the best. Period. Can I? You gonna let me use my Google Light? You gonna let me use it? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, Eddie Source. Well, I mean, this shotgun, I knew it was, like, gonna be good. Uh. It's just. Like, here, let me show you the damage on it. Okay, so its damage says 558 to 822, but for some reason, two levels ago, on crits, I was only hitting for, like, 340. Uh. But now, dude, I saw, like, 1900 damage earlier. Like, one shot something. Oh, that assault sock that we found earlier that I said looked good. Turns out it's actually really good. Let's throw it on there. 37. Ooh, that's good. Oh, that's an increase in damage and magazine size. In increase in range and increase in armor pierce, but we drop one critical? We might do it, actually. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That looks freaking weird. Fifty-one. Thank you so much for following Eddie Soros. Welcome to the war band. And, uh, well, and that's just it. On crit, I was only hitting for 340 something. That's why I'm saying is like, I felt like that there was a point to where they were limiting our damage, but I passed that point. And it's, it's really weird. Take that and start making. Because I've had the same, I had the same damage. Like this is the first time I modified it in like eight levels or something. But all of a sudden now I'm like chunking people. So I think that they had like a limiter for some reason. And uh, on, on like they were limiting our damage for whatever reason until a certain level. Ooh, we got it. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Finally. Sky Spark. The ultimate dark ability. <laughs> yeah, all right. Dude, can't wait to nuke something with that. I sure hope it does a tremendous amount of damage. And I need to go over there. I'm a little con... Hmm. That's a good find. 
Okay, where am 